Recently, the biennial art exhibit at Forbes Library was canceled due to critiques of a work featured in the show. The artist, Doris Madsen, submitted a piece called 400 Years Ago in which she depicts indigenous people as ghosts. Her piece was criticized by artist Jason Montgomery, who initially called for the artist's work to be removed from the show, but then he asked that the art cancel, cancel the event entirely. He referred to the piece as genocide art, and that the art, artist only created what she did because she was forced to learn about it. We met with NHS students and faculty to get their point of view on the situation. I have only been on the Arts Council committee for the Biennial Art Show. I was only on it for one year. And so I don't know about any previous controversies like this one. However, I know that the Arts Council is trying to make some serious changes um, in leadership. So this has been a conversation that I think is already starting. Things were already stirring. But in no way could I have expected a controversy like this to blow up so much in the community. It was a problem to probably remove it and um, not have a chance to talk about it within the community. But then in the bigger issue is taking down the entire art show, um, which had several artists represented in the community and who worked really hard to be part of that show. It's a complicated issue and my short version is that she did not intend to do anything wrong. Of course not. She is somebody who's been working in the arts community for a long time and her intentions were very good. Um, she couldn't have known that people were going to respond to it in this way. I wish that there had been more of a productive conversation around this so that she could have known how to maybe reach out and and work around the subject matter this subject matter this particular subject matter in a in a productive more healthy way and how to really say reach out to indigenous artists i definitely think the entire art exhibit should not have been canceled because it's important that we recognize you know freedom of expression, freedom of speech, and you know, everybody has a different take artistically on what they're trying to represent. So I don't think the whole exhibit should have been canceled. Like, obviously there was something wrong with the piece that this white lady created, the glorifying genocide, but there was no reason to cancel the entire exhibit over this. Like, there were so many other people being oppor given opportunities to showcase their art, and that was taken away from them over this one thing that this white lady did certainly is important to have diversity with art critics because we need to have hear from all different voices and um, we need to have diversity in all aspects of life. Everybody from all different demographics makes art and there should be a critic for every specific context that art is made in because you can't really critique an art piece fully without knowing what context it comes from and who better to critique a piece than someone from their own community of the artist. So there has to be otherwise art's not going to get critiqued fairly. Next year, the Arts Council hopes to include more diversity and inclusivity in the exhibit and future events moving forward. See you next week.